Here's the basic essentials of a classic location um, or ENG lighting kit. Here we have an, an airy open face, typically anywhere from 650 to 1,000 watts. Um, more of an op the open face lights have more of a spread, um, no way to really focus it, so it's broader light, typically uses a key light um, in conjunction with either barn doors or softbox, which we'll get to in a minute. But typically the, the open face fixtures are for more of a broad spread, not a focused, um, focused light like the Fresnels. For backlights, hair lights, spotlighting small areas on a, a talent, uh, a product, um, this is a very, a very small 150 watt um, Fresnel. Um, again, being small, it could be just used for shadow on the, or um, uh, highlighting the back of the hair, shoulder something. Fresnels are different than the open face in the sense that they have a focusable fixture, a, a focusable lens on the front of the light. It is it's changed by turning a knob on the back which moves the lamp closer or away from the front of the Fresnel lens, which will focus the light. Uh, this way you can actually focus the light down to a tighter beam pattern um, and make it either more stronger in concentrated in one area or wide and broad. Not quite as um, spread out as a open face with a softbox, but still at least you can soften the light somewhat to a degree, to a degree with the Fresnel. Uh, you'll see the, the Fresnel lens uh, better on the speaker fixture. A 650 watt fixture. Again, a Fresnel. More power. Uses a bounce or as a key light um, that's heavily diffused. Can take the place of an open face um, with lots of diffusion on it since this is a Fresnel. As you can see, it has an actual lens on the front of the light. And again, controlled by moving the bulb away from or closer to the lens, which will concentrate the light and make it more direct. Again, these, these are used with barn doors, soft boxes, straight diffusion. Um, this typically would be a uh, fill light diffused in conjunction with a uh, key light source such as the open face on a softbox. Some of the lighting controls typically used with Fresnels and open faces are softboxes, softboxes that, that collapse down and when they're in their open state and usable state they're in that shape. Also in the kit are your basic light stands, very light portable, set up in seconds, but yet extremely strong. Virtually most, most lights can, can fit on this, can, can be mounted anywhere, moved around. Again, very compact, very collapsible. Three or four will fit in the case this size. Other lighting control, and the typical is gels. Gels come in hundreds of different colors. The two that you'll be concerned the most with are two different colors. This is CTB and CTO. These two colors covered virtually the whole gamut of lighting controls when it comes to changing light color. Um, the CTB is used to change Tungsten lighting into daylight light. If you're moving a Fresnel, which is a tungsten light, which burns at approximately 3200 Kelvin, to daylight, you need to change the color to about 5500 degrees Kelvin. And by changing it with full blue, brings that to the correct color to get a balance with sunlight. The opposite is true if you're using daylight and you're bringing it indoors to use with tungsten fixtures. You need to bring the temperature down, which CTO does, from about 5200 to 5500 Kelvin down to about 3200 Kelvin. A 
a way to change lighting intensity without changing the color is to use scrims. This is a single scrim, this is a double scrim. This changes the intensity of the light, but doesn't change the color temperature of the light. Well, there you have it. Uh, with a basic understanding of most of the uh, basic gear that you have on a set, you should be able to get through most things. Um, when uh, the director or the uh, DP calls for a piece of equipment, you'll have a basic understanding of what it does, how it works, and hopefully be able to use it better.